Howdy y'all, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are safe and I hope you guys are healthy. Just right off the bat, I wanted to address uh, a milestone that this channel has hit. We have passed 300 subscribers and I really just can't thank you guys enough. It is truly an honor to make videos for you guys and to try and entertain you guys. I hope you guys enjoy my content. I hope you like what you see and I hope you guys continue to support. But today we're gonna to be going over what I consider to be my 10 items that I think are essentials during summer. Uh, I live in Las Vegas so it is incredibly hot. It is. Uh, like in the 110s sometimes and truly truly difficult to dress well but let me show you guys my top 10 essentials well just so you guys know this one is probably I th maybe not probably this is going to be a two-parter this is going to be showcasing the 10 items that I think are absolutely essential things are sta that are staples in my wardrobe that I wear throughout the summer and things that just I get a lot of wear out of and is very interchangeable and versatile whereas the next video I'm going to be filming is basically to my 10 top statement pieces so the things that really kind of scream so if you're going to be interested in that keep a, I, whoa, keep an eye out for the next video i'm going to be going from the bottom up just naming off things and all of these things are basically just categories They're, you don't need to have these exact things and i'm not someone to be telling you to spend your money any which way you spend your money on whatever you like i'm just showing you what i find to be staples in my wardrobe so starting with shoes right off the bat i haven't shown these in a video before but the, one of the biggest things that you're going to need in the summer is a white pair of sneakers and i've shown off uh I, i've shown off my air force ones i've shown off my jordan one sales but today i'm going to be showing you probably the most basic of the white sneakers that i have the common projects achilles low this is a beautiful shoe, beautifully shaped, very slim, looks very nice, and mine are pretty beat. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but like there's a ton of creasing. The midsole is actually quite dirty. It's quite yellow. But honestly, I actually like the character that it has. I think it looks really cool. White slim sneaker, or just a white sneaker in general. Of course, you could substitute that with an Air Force One dunk. Uh, Jordan one whatever it may be, but a white sneaker is great for the summer Next up. I have these right here I'm sure everybody has seen them. I'm sure everybody knows all about them. I have Birkenstocks I love my Birks. I think they're great for like just running errands to just slip on and off Super super great shoe. I have the one that has the strap in the back whereas what people are probably used to seeing are the, I think they're called the Arizonas, where they're just this, but without like cut this strap off. I have Boston's as well. A pair of Birkenstocks, a pair of sandals. Definitely, definitely a must have. I don't have any sort of like water near me, so I can't say that I use them for the beach or the pool really, but Birkenstocks in the summer, no brainer. Next up, I think I wear these all year round. I think that these are such amazing shoes and truly, truly, truly everybody needs one in their wardrobe, I think. And that's a pair of derbies. I have multiple pairs of derbies, but I wanted to show you guys the Elix derbies. This is the actual shoe that uh, you can attach a like extra gigantic rubber sole on the bottom, but when you take them out, this is what they are. Such a beautiful shape in that shiny leather. I actually added a sole on the bottom of them to last longer. But yeah, a pair of derbies. You can go with either these, you can go with Doc Martens, 1461s, you can go with any other derby. But a derby is quite necessary when you want to look a little bit more dressed up in the summer. And obviously boots are a little bit too hot to wear. Next up, we're gonna be talking about tops. So, in no particular order, this first one is simply just a tank top. This one is from, I think, American Apparel. I got it while they were closing and it was such a good deal. I think I got them for seven bucks, which is awesome. But, black tank top, you could also use a white one. Having both is great. I don't wear them on my own just because I don't like showing off my top portion, but, 
think they're great for layering. I think they're great to put underneath like a button-up shirt. They're great to just, just all around kind of layer. Tank tops are great. The only time I'll be comfortable wearing a tank top is if I'm like on the beach or something. But I know it's been kind of a thing where people really enjoy like the ribbed, very tight fitting tank tops. I think they look great. I think they're awesome, especially for layering, but I got a bit of a gut. I'm not slim enough to wear a ribbed tank top. Eh, that's just me though. Another one of my absolute favorite things to wear in the summer, just truly, truly, truly a staple in my wardrobe all year round is going to be a Henley. I tend to wear my Henleys completely unbuttoned, but you can button them up if you want. This one is from Rag and Bone. I love the material for summer because it is so very thin. A great, great piece. It's very slouchy. I'm wearing it in my uh, latest outfit picture. If you guys want to check that one out, I love this thing right here. Very great for summer. It covers my arms, uh, but it's not too heavy. It's, it's a long sleeve, but it's not too heavy, which I think is great. So. A long sleeve Henley or a short sleeve Henley like I'm wearing right now. See? Cool. Up next, uh, disregard the graphic on it because for my essentials I really like to get blanks. Or, yeah, as much as possible get blanks. Uh, the more graphic tees will be in my statement pieces video which is coming up next, but this shirt right here I absolutely love. Got it at a vintage store very cheap I think it was like 15 bucks but super cool graphic tombstone band with a B I know nothing about where this came from truly but I think I I think it's just like one of the best shirts that I have to be quite honest with you I love ringer tees and a ringer tee is basically kind of a contrast color on the collar and the sleeves nothing on the back it fits rather slim but it is a beautiful beautiful shirt the bottom is a single stitch, so you know it's that true vintage, but I absolutely love this shirt. I think it goes really well. I think yellow goes with my skin quite well. Yeah, ringer tees. Ringer tees. I don't know if a lot of people are really on that right now, or if that's like in trend. I don't really like using that term, but ringer tees are great. I highly suggest checking them out. Next up, and lastly for tops, is going to be a button-up shirt, and this is a camp collar silk shirt that I thrifted. This is from Joseph Aboud. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but silk camp collar shirt. Beautiful, feels great, can layer it with a tank top, can layer it with a t-shirt, I usually don't, but I usually go with a tank, a white tank top, this shirt, and it looks great. Kind of a safari look, uh, but yeah. A silk shirt or a linen shirt is great for summer. Feels really good on your body, really, really breathable. Definitely won't overheat in those. But for the printed ones, I'm going to show you in the next video. That's gonna be for the statement ones. I know a lot of people really like Hawaiian shirts and I will show you guys my favorites in the next one. And for bottoms, of course, I'm sure as all of you know, I absolutely love denim, so I will wear denim in the, uh, in the summer, even though it is over 110 degrees outside, I still wear denim. Sometimes I still even wear boots. I don't really care, but these are the more summer-centered bottoms. So, right off the bat, boom, black linen pants. If you can find a pair of black linen pants, I highly suggest it. It just looks like you're wearing black pants, but why can't I find the words for this? It just looks like you're wearing black pants, but you get all the comfort of linen. Super, super cool, super, super comfy. I absolutely love linen and as a material itself, as a shirt, and as bottoms, if you can find them. I know more often than not, you're gonna find kind of like a natural, natural cotton colored linen, but I mean, if you can find a black linen, it is it is awesome. I wear it all the time and it just feels great. Sits really well on my body, very lightweight, so it's not really making me sweat too much. Next up is going to be a pair of chinos, and this one I absolutely love. I mean, I love all my clothes. I say that about every single thing that I own, so it'll probably get really redundant, but this white, pair of chinos I think are so beautiful. So the color on these is considered ecru, 
and what ecru is is more of like an undyed natural cotton color it's kind of this like eggshell off whitish cream it is such a great pant of course these can get dirty very very quickly and very easily i think oh yep it's trash day so if you can hear that please excuse the noise but this ecru pair of chinos are so beautiful, so great. Uh, everything I really have as far as pants goes are either slightly slim straight or just a straight leg. The black pair of the black pair of linen pants. Relax. Making so much noise. All right, cool. So the black pair of linen pants, as well as these ones, are also from Rag and Bone. Definitely a great place to get your pants. They do, their their fits are really nice. Highly suggest it. Last but not least, I saved these for last just because it's kind of a no-brainer. Shorts. Shorts. I actually hate shorts. I can't, I don't like wearing them as I'm wearing them right now in the video. But I, like going out and doing things, I, I really, don't feel comfortable in shorts to be quite honest with you when I was younger I had rather thin legs and it really got to me wearing shorts was just kind of like something I was self-conscious about but I mean as I got older and a little bit I'm not gonna say I got muscular because I didn't but as I got a little bit older and started getting over the fact that I was self-conscious about simply wearing shorts in summer I don't have very many shorts to be honest with you because I would just rather wear pants, but these are a pair of Columbia vintage shorts I found at a thrift. I honestly don't even know if they're women's, but they do double as uh, like basically a swimming short. I'll wear these on hikes, I'll wear these like on a jog. Basically they're just kind of an outdoor short. You can definitely uh, get a lot of really good alternatives like from Patagonia has some great shorts, North Face has some great shorts, but just generally speaking an athletic short is what I wear when I'm usually wearing shorts. But yeah, these are great. They're kind of like cargo shorts. They have pockets like in random places. Uh, I don't know if you can see the details because they are just completely black, but I did tear off all the branding because I don't really like showing too much branding. But yeah, so black pair of shorts. Uh, obviously, you could do whatever color you really want. I know, I don't know if it's, I think it's Patagonia. I think they're called like baggy shorts and it's just like a nice nylon short that is basically suitable for swimming as well as like doing any other outdoor activity. Those are really nice too and come in a plethora of different colors. So that's definitely one that I think you guys should uh, check out as well if you're looking for shorts. I'm not a fan of denim shorts, usually. Uh, I used to be a really big fan of jorts, but um, not as of recently, to be quite honest with you. But those are my essentials. Let me know what you guys think. If you like them, what do you guys consider essential? What did I not talk about? Throw in the comments down below. Consider subscribing if you feel like it. Consider liking the video if you please. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this one. I appreciate every single one of you. Truly, truly, truly. And until my next video, I will catch you guys later.